The new Clash Royale season just started, so it's my job to show you guys the top 3 best Clash Royale decks after the new update. We immediately start with deck number 1, this deck number 1 is absolutely incredible, Goblin Giant, Double Prince, so good, so salt, and also so easy to play. Found our first game here, using my bomber in the back, just directly starting off quick the game there, and all of the decks of course I'm showcasing today are really good, all of them are really really good, so... I like to have Kindly in this deck just for some more DPS. We also got free spells, so it kind of synergizes really well. So we do really well against Bait with our spells, with our Dark Prince, with our Bomb, of course, and also do really well against any type of beatdown cards. So I kind of want to see what, honestly, our guys here playing. Also, hmm, honestly, this might be like any type of balloon deck. So I kind of go for my Phoenix because I can, because I still got my Rage um, ready. Yeah, okay, it's going to be. It's going to be most likely. Any type of, um, how's it called? Like Lumberloon? I guess Lumberloon Freeze. He doesn't have Lumberjack in hand, so I feel like I can be aggressive now. I'm just gonna go for my Prince there. Does he decide to support his Inferno D? I'm not honestly sure. I think he cannot really do anything about that. So, okay, honestly, this doesn't look too bad. He's gonna freeze this. Makes sense, I guess. I think I'm still gonna go wait. I might also go Zap there just to make sure, okay? Second towards the evolution. Kill the bowler. And also I think we might get a shot. No, we do not get a shot, but still a decent amount of chip. I have my Dark Ones ready in case he decides to go for. Okay, he goes in Balloon immediately. So I'm just going to go for my Phoenix. They're also going to go Arrows immediately to make sure to hopefully kill this. And yeah, really good defense. I mean, he couldn't go Freeze anyway. So I'm just going to go for my Bomber there. Just like cycle anything. Also get a tank down. So he has to commit his Lumberjack, which means, okay, it's like a free defense because of the Cannoneers. So we kind of bait out four legs of our two. So overall, a really, really nice play. So... We got the Evolution Goblin Giant, which can be really good. Of course, against Bola, it's not too great. Because the Bola will be just like able to chip down my Goblins. But at the same time, of course, Bola sucks against Princes. So I'm just going to go for my Dark Prince into the left-hand side. And I kind of want to go for my Goblin Giant in back. My Goblin Giant Evolution, better to say. I would love to have my Evolution Zap ready against this. What the heck, bro? But also my Dark Prince Charger. So I'm just going to go for my Bola, uh, for my Prince. We're currently really high. It's like still first of the season. We got to League 8. This is pretty... Salt, I would say. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Zap there. And I'm just gonna go Dark Prince. So let's see, what's he gonna do? He says to defend this. Okay, is he gonna go? Okay, I'm just gonna go reach this. Because I think it's actually worth it, maybe. I think it's okay. My Bomber Splash is my Dark Prince. Might get on tower there. Okay, I'm just gonna go Prince. He has to go for his Loon, but he cannot really go Loon. So I'm just gonna go for my Evolution Goblin, uh, for my normal Goblin Jab. Because if he has some Fountain, we're just able to Evo Zap this. I'm just going to go Evo Zap, I'm just going to go Arrows. And I'm just going to go Rage there, and we all know it's going to be over. Yeah, there's no way for him to defend. He can Tornado that, maybe. But even with a Tornado, I feel like this might be just over really, really quickly. Okay, honestly, his... Um, how's it called? His uh, Electro Drink did a really good job. So I'm just going to cycle my Dark Monster to the left. Because I expect him to bowl to the right. Okay, I might just go, honestly, I might just go Prince in the back there. He still has to defend the left-hand side, maybe like wasting a Lumberjack, okay. Hmm, I'm just gonna go Phoenix here. Yeah, I might just go Electric Giant, Goblin Giant left-hand side. I just want to, like, pressure him. So he's not gonna be able to defend it really nicely. And he can't really go in, so I'm just gonna go for my Zap there. Honestly, I'm also gonna go Rage. Also gonna go, I was bow the Evolution Goblin Giant! What the heck, bro? Nerf Evolution Goblin Giant! This is over! Man, Evolution Goblin Giant just clapped his peach. GG's well played. Deck number two is one of the most solid decks of all time. Lava, Loon, nothing weird to say about it. This deck is so solid. Man, I'm always talking about Lava, Loon. It always seems to be a bit weaker at the start of the season, but at the end, there's still uh, always two, three, four players high in the top 50, in the top 100, in the top 10 in the entire world. So it's just like overall a really consistent deck. And I feel like... If you get really, really good with Lava Loon, if you get really good with Lava Loon, you will always be successful. It doesn't matter. matter. You see Dominic, you see my good old friend called Legend. They always have like a ton of fun playing on top of ladder. It doesn't matter. It matter. And they will always finish high. So it's a really consistent deck and a really good deck to focus on and actually rely on. Because I feel like the last matter, Lava was that, was actually the Phoenix matter. And you guys know, that's some time ago. So I might just go for my guards. This might be Goblin Dual Cycle. So he goes in for this. I might just go, honestly... Do I just go for my first Lava? I might just go for my first Lava on there. He still has to... Yeah, he's just gonna go for the Ice Bird. So at least he has to spend one Elixir there. Okay, Skate on the right hand side. Good Skate making sure. I think, like, not the perfect time. I think he can actually completely counter this 
um, a drill bots. Oh, well, fine. I guess he just has one air counter, right? So I guess this guy just has Tesla. So we're looking really good. I'm kind of going to chill there because he might go in again for something. So I don't really want to overcommit. And okay, he decides to go in again for this. I'm just going to go Valkyrie there. Really nice Valk. Okay, I'm just going to go Balloon there. So he still has to defend both sides. So how is he going? He goes Poison there, okay. He goes Poison there. This means we might get a ton of damage with my Balloon there. Let's go. Okay, he has to use this, but it's fine. I'm just going to go... Oh, I missed kind of... I wanted to zap the tower. I, why do I go for the zap? Yeah, I know it doesn't really matter too much, but I just want to make sure to cycle. Also, of course, getting to Illusion soon. I feel like this is a really good matchup. If I played it good enough, I, there's no way I'm going to lose this one. Um, I guess going for my Lava on there is like a really smart choice. Okay. okay I'm just going to go for my guards. Honestly, I'm just going to go Valk. Just like behind this. Putting everything backwards. And now I might just go Balloon there. Okay. He's not going to be able to block that nicely. So should be a really good defense. He just goes an Ice Black. I can just go for my Fennel Dragon there. Okay, that was a really good defense on his end. He played it really well. Okay, let's go for my Valk there because he has to go Poison this side. Okay. Let's see. How is he going to stop this now? He has to defend both sides. Okay. I might just go for the next Balloon there. So next balloon is going to come on down in the bridge. He goes in for this. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to go lava on there. Just keep up the pressure, but there's no way he's going to defend this man. Like, the next lava is just going to come down. He doesn't have his drill. So I feel like his only real way of, like, kind of doing something is going to go, like, for the demolish the bridge. So I'm just going to immediately go for my skeleton rings. I'm just going to go for my inferno ring hide just to clean this up. He has to go poison now, but he also has to go knife because otherwise this gate is get on tower. So I'm just going for inferno ring hide just to clean up this, making sure we don't take any damage. I feel like... Honestly, it looks like there should be a dub also because, as you guys can see here, okay, honestly, I can just go for my Void there. I'm also going to go Zap. Let's go. Zap is going to come down. And also, he can't defend the Balloon anymore. It's going to be death damage. Honestly, it was a bit closer than I expected it to be because we did some mistakes. I feel like the the one like the one evolution drill on his end was really, really nice because he was able to cycle back to an evolution Tesla. You just need to be a bit careful about that, but overall, it was a really great game. Deck number three is a classic one. I already showcased this video or like this dark few days ago. Okay. Deck number three is a classic one. Minor motor control. So good, so solid. I honestly like the Mana Witches deck just to make sure you do really, really way better against any type of spam bait deck. But this version is just like, oh, well. Deck number four. Deck number 3 is this Mortar Miner spam deck, and you guys know Mortar Miner Control is one of the best decks of all time. Let's directly jump into the game. Our our last game here was this a Korean player. Man, I love Korean people, I love Asian people, I love everyone in the world, but they're like so nice. They're always so friendly, and I don't know. I remember like, I think like some fans out of Korea gave me actually some nice gifts. Um, like the last Clash Royale like World Finals, it was like so nice to meet them, like it's really really cool. So, meeting like... Different cultures and so on are like one of the nicest things, I guess. So I'm just going for my bats there. So what is he going to do? Oh, I'm kind of scared of him. Okay, he's not going to... Okay, he goes in void. That's fine. So it's going to be Packer Bridge. This deck does really well against Evolution Packer. You could also, of course, like kind of see... Okay, maybe play Evolution Packer. I mean, yeah, it's a really solid deck. In case you guys want to see the best Packer Evolution deck, check out the answer this video. But I, I kind of decided against that because I don't want to show it again. And also, most of you guys maybe not have it. Because like the most... Uh, it's a new Evolution. So I thought like, okay, Rather Show Dark, which actually counters Pack Evolution. This deck does really well, Cannon Cut as well, Gang and so on, of course. Even Gang, nah, you kind of have to be careful about the, like, Packer healing up. But I guess I'm just gonna go Mom Witch there. Some, like, long range, it's the only real long range I got in my deck besides a Cannon Cut. And I guess I'm just gonna go Bats there, why? I guess pretty obvious reason, so he has to go Zap. Okay. Hmm, I don't really want to use my ability there because I think it's not worth it. At least a shield dies, which is pretty nice. Okay, is he gonna go in there or not? Okay, just go some first. I'm just gonna miner there on defense. I think it's a really nice miner, making sure to just kill everything. Also, I think I just hope that the. Okay, it's not gonna be one shot, but like. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna murder. He might go for his void, so. I'm just gonna go cannon cut now. Oh, actually, a really nice cannon cut predict. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, we do get one shot on top of town. That's actually a huge shot. He has to go. Oh, what the heck, bro? It's like another shot. 
using my ability there because his um, boy dies really quickly. So I'm just going minor. He has to go Zap, but Zap alone won't be enough. I can just go minor there. Maybe I'm going to be able. Oh, I actually predicted it, but it's not going to matter because it's going to splash anyway. But look at left hand side. Look at left hand side. How much damage is that? What's actually even happening? He uses pack evolution. Okay, so I'm going to showcase you how I'm going to just destroy him. Can I cut in the middle? He doesn't have any swarm now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, he's back actually. Okay. Didn't expect that, but it's fine. Okay, Packer, please die. Okay, Packer dies at least. And also we got a distraction there. I'm also gonna go Skelly King there. Good Skeleton King. Perfect defense. Not gonna complain. So overall really nice. Let's go gang on the right hand side. He doesn't have ghosts in his deck. He I mean what he has ghosts. What what am I saying? Okay, so uh, he got Ghost, Demolisher, and Wizard, and he got so much blast. So honestly, I would say this is one of the harder Packer decks to deal with. Um, I don't know why I like that. He doesn't have Ghost. Honestly, I'm just gonna go Cannon Card there. I'm also gonna go Mortar, and I'm also gonna go Bats. I kind of want to be aggressive there because I know, like, Gang. Oh, I, this is over, bro. This was a bad Packer time. You can't go Packer in the back with opponents of Lush Mode. Ready? GG's more played. Let's go. These are the top three best Clash Royale of the new Clash Royale. Up, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. And also let me know in the comment section how you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Off you guys. Goodbye.